All right, our next guest is a talented young American and Israeli painter whose amazing work weaves together Jewish history, spirituality, and modern day political situation here. Please welcome Ronit Joy Holtz to the show. Welcome. It's so good that you're finally here. We've been communicating yes. for a while, and I yeah. know, like, for you, this has got to be really exciting to be here because you are an Allah Hadashah as well who went back yeah. to America. Yes. So we uh, moved here in 2007 with my family, but I went to school two years ago. So I've been in America for two years studying, getting my bachelor's in fine arts, and it's been a journey. I miss home every day. I but, bet, I bet, I bet. Yeah. And I mean, also being in Savannah, Georgia, I mean, there's yeah. a lot of Jewish history there. There is. You there know, is. from the Sephardic yeah. Jews that have come, but it's not exactly, you know, not many Israelis. The play, exactly. Yeah. So what is that experience? Is it lonely or is it just kind of added to the, the creative process? The difficult, that's for sure. But it's fun, like, having friends over that are not Jewish and you teach them all the traditions. And it's really a learning process. It's a journey. It is lonely sometimes. Yeah, but, I bet. I bet. But yeah. it's also you're able to take all of this into, yeah, into your into art. So, art exactly. Yeah, so explain the, the new exhibit and, and the yeah. works that, that people are going to see. So in the Falkash Gallery here in Yafo, I have an exhibition of uh, all the works I've been doing since January. And um, it started off with a series of a terror attack that happened January 8th. Mm -hmm. And then I started moving more into about political, cultural, Jewish traditions, just explaining. So every critique I have, there's like a history lesson that I give to either the professors, the classmates, and it's just really, it's really incredible. It's having them just well, learn. How does it feel for you? Because I mean, you really are yeah. trying to send such a positive message of, yeah. you know, maintaining identity, doing something positive from it and yeah. you know it's what is your feeling it yeah. is because it's my calling I didn't do the army so I feel like this is my my show my calling this to my country your, this is my your service yeah, yeah. So this is your is, gift it's an honor yeah. it really is yeah. so do you feel I mean this is also very deeply rooted in you know spirituality and there's a lot of really yeah. beautiful you know allegories that you make I mean do you feel like uh, you know there's a real spiritual component to getting this type of work out in the world now yeah the of course the show is to? called um, redemption so I believe that Everything ties together the Jewish people. It's a story of redemption in us. Absolutely. And the God of Israel is the Redeemer. So it all ties together. And a lot sure. of people, you know, there's a lot of evidence to prove that we're really entering a time of... Yeah of redemption if you yeah, speak to sure. you know to that world yeah. that's another spiritual conversation we won't yeah. pull everyone with but um, okay so but also you're you know you're giving back so you're not only you know doing an exhibit but you're also giving back with uh, the money that you make yes yeah, so all the proceeds of the show all the donations are going to be um, for one family so I don't know if you guys know much about them but they're an organization that helps maimed uh, and sufferers of after terror attacks and here in Israel since 2001 15 years they've been Wow. Helping the family. So you're donating and, everything? Yeah, everything. So. so you're doing all of this work and you're yeah. just wow. Yeah. It's really amazing. And what do you think um, you know, what do you think the main, you know, overall goal is for for your work? Cuz a lot of it is like for example, there was one painting in particular Right, where you have prayers that people wrote oh, that yeah, you yeah. you know tend to bring to the coattail, or, yeah. or what's so the plan the with first, that? There's, that's a two-part piece, a diptych. The first piece is what I did in America. The second piece is what I did here. The first piece was I was telling my professors and my classmates about what the Western Wall is, what it was then, what it is now, just giving them a history lesson. And then I told them that there are millions of prayers that go in the, in the, inside the wall and that I would make the pilgrimage for them because some of them said they never come to Israel, they never have been, and they would right. love for uh, their prayers to be in the actual So do you feel, I mean, given, you know, the, the stuff that we're talking about, I mean, here mm -hmm. you are living in a place where, you know, you're able to really educate and show what it yeah. means to be Jewish. I mean, how, you know, how has that been received? Because, again, we're all, the messianic yeah. era is all of us yeah. together, one religion, each person yeah. with their you know, unique voice that they yeah. want to bring to the world, right? It's interesting. I mean, mainly, mostly, mostly people would perceive it in a positive aspect, but there are some people that are very anti, but, you know, it's, it's nice to have And have you experienced that, like, firsthand? Yeah. Like, even, and, like, you're feeling that energy even towards yeah, you? Yeah, I mean, one of the paintings I made about the terror attack, my professor, he wasn't very excited about me making it, and he said it was too much to handle in one week, because we have to make paintings once a week, and he said, it's a five by seven foot painting, so he was like, he wasn't having it, the idea wow. about it, and but the, how it's does very that, tough. How does that affect you personally? I mean, this is yeah. a professor, someone who you yeah. don't want to be a role model, and to have him react yeah. that way must be it awkward. It honestly kept you know? me going. It kept me forward. It, it pushed me even harder. More. Yeah, to make it more, and there's more passion in it, and it just it lit my flame even more. So.
Yes. So do you intend to come back to Israel? Yeah. When you're done sure. with school? I have another year and a half left and then I'm coming home. How do you how do you turn out one painting a week? How does that how does that work? It's it's, uh, it's like what if you just you don't, don't have it in you yeah. one night, you know? It's just so much. They but they teach you and they help you a lot and they, they really it's really an amazing school. It's really it's an honor to being there as an Israeli artist and showing the nation. And you believe people. and you know you're gonna make a difference, right? Yeah. It's really great. Yeah. Good for you. And good luck with the exhibit, which Thank is going to be going you. on where? Yeah. Tell us where. Um, it's when? on Mazad the Game, mm -hmm. uh, number five in Yafo, here in Old Yafo, and it's going on until the 29th. So it's three more weeks. Yesterday was the opening night, and yeah, three more weeks. That's left. great. And yeah. then you're hanging out and having so Are you going to have time to like hit the beach and enjoy yeah, being course, here? Of course, of course. Will you yeah. head back to humid Georgia? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I lived in Georgia, Mill. too. My first yeah. job out of college was CNN. So oh, my goodness. Wow. I lived in Georgia. Which Savannah's yeah. a beautiful city. It is. It's stunning. Yeah. It really is beautiful. Great. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for and, having uh, me. And good luck with everything.